All that coming up, but we begin with an avalanche of fresh outrage triggered by an explosive report from inside the Department of Veterans Affairs up on Capitol Hill. One after another, Democrats are now joining the calls for the VA Secretary Eric Shinseki to resign. And over at the White House, Shinseki is said to be on, quote, thin ice over the failures at his agency. CNN's Drew Griffin, who first broke this story, he's standing by. I'll also speak live this hour with the House Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman, Congressman Jeff Miller. But let's begin with our senior White House correspondent, Jim Acosta. Jim? Wolf, the writing may be on the wall for Eric Shinseki for the first time since the VA scandal broke. The White House declined to say whether Shinseki has the confidence of the president. Mr. President, Mr. As one White House official puts it, Veterans Affairs Secretary Eric Shinseki is on thin ice. I'm just not going to speculate about personnel matters. Today, the ice started cracking as White House Press Secretary Jay Carney refused to answer whether President Obama had confidence in Shinseki, who's leading a review of the VA scandal. But how does he run the department if he doesn't have the full confidence of the president? How does he conduct this investigation if he doesn't have the full the confidence of the president? looks forward to uh, the uh, preliminary review that uh, he asked the secretary to provide to him. Instead, Carney pointed to what the president said last week when one White House official says Shinseki was placed on probation. If he thinks he's let our veterans down, uh, then uh, I'm sure that he is not going to be interested in continuing to serve. The latest blow to Shinseki came in this inspector general's report, pointing to systemic issues in the VA system, noting in Phoenix, 1,700 veterans were never put on a waiting list and were likely lost or forgotten. Shinseki responded in a USA Today op-ed saying we are redoubling our efforts with commitment and compassion to restore integrity to our processes, to earn veterans trust. That's not flying with a growing list of Senate Democrats, many up for re-election who are calling for Shinseki to go. Even as the nation's top Republican said, he's not so sure. But the real issue here is that uh, the president is the one who should be held accountable. Uh, it's no secret the president is loyal to his cabinet. The government. White House official said uh, there's now a difference allowed. between the case of Secretary Kathleen Sebelius during the healthcare.gov fiasco and Shinseki. The problems at the VA, the official said, are bigger than a broken website. That the president just doesn't like to fire people. But I think you've heard that. The president was clear that he believes accountability is important. And the White House is waiting on the VA to turn over its initial findings from its own internal audit. Uh, those findings, which are expected any day now, could well determine the fate of Eric Shinseki Wolf. And we can report in just the last half hour, another Democrat has defected from this White House over the fate of Shinseki. Mary Landry from Louisiana, she too wants him to step down. Wolf. Jim Acosta at the White House, thanks very much.